I was going to say, Frank, that Robinson. Joe Frazier has become the next Joe the Lewis as far as Joe. fan appreciation is concerned. He deserves it. It seems to me that whenever he is introduced, he enters a function, he gets the kind of hand that Joe Lewis used to get when he was introduced and still gets. Okay. That was very beautifully done. That's uh, Robert Merrill. And another fine sports fan, Robert Merrill. Robert Merrill is fantastic. Now here's the brown bummer, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis, this has to be a very memorable place for him because he fought some great fights here in New York City, especially here at Yankee Stadium. Now, Dick, we have a surprise tonight. Guess who's working Ken Norton's corner? Who's that? Joe Frazier. Is that so? Well, I know they're, they're buddies. Uh, they go way back together. They're very close friends. But I'm kind of surprised unless there was some quick action taken because it's my understanding that you have to be licensed to work a corner in the state of New York. And, Joe, is uh, a, Joe is a licensed uh, is he a Manager, licensed handler? A handler. Is that so? In the yes. state of New York? In the state of New York. Is that right? Oh, that's, uh, well, then you he can know, do he it, You know, he did that uh, just when he bought his self from Cloverland. I see. Joe Frazier's made some very good moves, and he's made some solid moves. And uh, he, uh, you know, he handles... Uh, Dwayne Bobbitt, yes. Dwayne Bobbitt. He has a heavyweight. Dwayne's fighting uh, Chuck Webner on uh, Saturday. Up in Utica, New York. Yeah, right. that's gonna that should be good. Now we see Ali, the heavyweight champion of the world, getting ready to come out. And here he comes, Dick. And as you can hear, the fans are reacting as usual. Now that's a shot of Ali in his dressing room, warming up, just trying to break a bit of a sweat, getting a little bit loose, and the same shot was flashed on the big screen in center field, and that's what drew the roar from the crowd. I see a young promoter over here who's really taking everything in here, and that's uh, Butch Lewis. From top Butch rank, Lewis. he's observing everything around this ring. And I think it was just great for uh, top rank and Madison Square Garden to, you know, bring this fight back to New York City, and especially a championship fight. Well, as part of the Big Apple celebration, the op sale and the convention, the political convention, and now the heavyweight championship fight. Yes, I, I think that uh, when we look around, and this place is uh, is filling up, you know, as tight as possible right here around the ring. Now I see Ali, there's Ali walking around in his dressing room. As we look around at the ringside seats, deck the two hundred dollars. There's no vacant seats. Doesn't appear to be too many. The ringside seats—that's what we were talking about before. The ringside seats seem to have sold better than the 
medium price seats. There's a very good crowd up on top. Those are the lower price seats, the 25s and 50s, or I guess the 25s. The 75s and the 100s don't seem to have gone quite as well as the others, but ringside, of course, there's Joe D, Jody Maggio. And that's Whitey Ford, Ford, I believe. Whitey the Ford left. there with him on the left. That's right. Looks like Sonny Werblin on the right. Is that Sonny Werblin? Yeah, that's Sonny. Sonny was uh, sick. Joe D. Now, that's just where he played, right there where that picture is. Right there, out in center field. One of the He's uh, one of those gentlemen that's highly recognizable in sports, and he seems to have grown better looking by the years. Age has really agreed with Joe D. And that was Willie Mays' idol. Willie Mays was down in Birmingham, Alabama, as a kid. Not Birmingham, Bethlehem, Alabama, as a kid. And Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. The New York State Athletic Commission will not allow the 50 round main event to start until every aisle is cleared and you all return to your seats. We can be here an awful long time tonight. Commissioners. Enforce these rules in New York. You know, Dick, that'll give us a chance to talk about the knockdown, you know, the uh, three knockdowns. There's ex Mayor Lindsay. Yeah, Mayor Lindsay, he's a great fan. John Lindsay, who is responsible, really, for the refurbishing of Yankee Stadium. It was during his regime that they decided to overhaul Yankee Stadium in order to keep the ball club here. The ball club had offers from elsewhere particularly from New Jersey, which succeeded in landing the football giants. They went out after the Yankees, and Mayor Lindsay said, no, we're going to keep the Yankees in the Bronx by putting a lot of money into Yankee Stadium, and they did as much, we understand, as $100 million to do. That's quite a paint job. Yes, uh, Doc Ellis told me that uh, the Yankees, he couldn't understand it. First couple days here, he slipped off the mound. He said, I can't understand it. <laughs> A hundred million dollar stadium, a three million dollar pitcher, and a fifteen dollar mound. <laughs> well, that's Doc. He was talking about Catfish Hunter. And, uh, thank you. Doc, of course, uh, is a young Muhammad Ali. He mimics uh, Ali. He yeah. looks quite a bit looks like, like Ali. And says he can beat Ali. Yeah, well, you know, with they, a baseball, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Dick, I just, this kind of thing here now, with Muhammad Ali, and his style of fighting. And he has changed his style for tonight's fight, so he says. Now, of course, you can take that any way you want to when Muhammad Ali says he's going to change something. But now, Ali is convinced that he cannot beat Ken Norton with the regular Muhammad Ali style of fighting. Ken Norton is convinced that he can beat Muhammad Ali with his regular style of fighting. So Ali has shifted all of his emphasis now to the George Foreman style of fighting, standing and, and hitting with the right hand and staying in there and keeping you away from his opponent with his left. So I never thought that I would hear Ali say that this is the George Foreman style. Here comes Kenny Norton. And there we go. Now, now this excitement is getting ready to start. Here at Yankee Stadium, the number one contender, Kenny Jawbreaker Norton, now coming into the ring. Norton has said everything possible that you can say to show that he is confident that he can beat Muhammad Ali. He said, in fact, I own Muhammad Ali. And then, of course, Ali says that he made Norton what he is today. So I just think that Ken Norton, is so confident that he can win this fight tonight until he said it was no problem at all with Muhammad Ali for him. Here's Ken Norton now stepping into the ring wearing a bright, real blue, baby blue rose, trimmed in white, blue and white socks. He doesn't have a... Ken Norton is in the ring. Kenny Norton, San Diego, California, the number one challenger. 
the man that beat Muhammad Ali and broke his jaw the first time they met, and is now coming back for huh? fight number three. Ken Norton looks like he's in tip-top shape. He weighed in today at 217 and a half pounds, and he said that's just what he wanted to come in the ring at tonight. Okay. 217 and a half, Kenny Norton. Kenny looks as though he did a lot of warming up in the dressing room. He has beads of sweat all over his face and forehead. And now Muhammad Ali start making his move towards the ring. Please clear the aisle so that Muhammad Ali can enter the ring. Muhammad Ali weighed in today at 221 pounds. That's good weight for him. I thought he might come in around 225. He really got down for this one. Yes, he did. I think Ali worked hard for this fight. And Ken Norton worked hard. So I think that... Ken is in exquisite shape. Oh, yes. Ken Steve's in shape. He's uh, really got the good body. Once again, I'm going to please clear the aisles. They, so they train differently, Frank. Yes. Kenny Norton please put in an awful aisles. lot of sparring time. I think he had something like 228 rounds of sparring. Ali, on the other hand, concentrated on punching the bags. I don't think he did 100 rounds of sparring. He was developing his punch on that big bag, particularly the left hook. He spent yeah. an awful lot of time banging that left hook into the big bag. Yeah, Ali says that he doesn't have to punch as much and uh, train as much in, with sparring because what he has to do now is to fight. And he says he stays in shape by fighting. Well, he says sparring is to learn, he said, and there's not much I have to learn about the boxing business anymore. Well, when you hear the crowd go like this at Yankee Stadium or any other stadium in the world, you know that's the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali, making his entrance into the ring. We're coming to you live from New York City at Yankee Stadium with the world's heavyweight championship fight. Muhammad Ali, the champion. Ken Norton, the number one challenger, the man that beat Muhammad Ali and broke his jaw in the first fight and lost or split decision on the second time they met. And tonight, Dick, it looks like everything's going to be right on target here. Everything's going to be resolved this time. This, of course, is the rubber match. That's not to say that they couldn't meet a fourth time. You never can tell. If this one is a good one, if... If Norton upsets Ali, there's always a chance that you would see a return match. But I don't think it would happen right away. If Kenny Norton were to win the championship tonight, I believe Kenny would take another fight or two, try to cash in, maybe fight a Dwayne Bobbick or someone of that sort, not go right back in against Ali, not risk the title again that quickly. He'd try to get what they call a couple of paydays in before fighting Ali again. Yes, they, they love to get those paydays. And Ali draws a big payday wherever he goes. And now Muhammad Ali is coming into the uh, into the ring with his usual entourage around him. Ali likes to travel in big circles, and uh, of course, Kenny Norton likes to travel in small circles. He likes to travel with three or four people, not more than that. Ali likes as many people around. He take all the people in the stadium with him. Ali does a lot for the employment of the United States. He keeps quite a few people in the That's right. And here we are, set at Yankee Stadium in New York City, coming to you live with a top rank incorporated in Madison Square Garden Boxing Incorporated production of a heavyweight championship fight. I'm Frank Bannister, along with me, Dick Young of the Daily News and Miss Black America, Tawana Kilgore. Here's the champ, Muhammad Ali, now getting ready to step into the ring. Muhammad Ali, the world's heavyweight champion. Ah, look at that look on Look at him face. looking at him with his white robe, his long white robe. He's and trying to psych him now. He's coming over to the corner. He's sneaking by. And this Watch this now. Phased. He's getting ready for a little bit of action. This hasn't phased Kenny Norton at all. The crowd is really getting a kick out of this. Staring at him. Norton yes. is reacting. I've been assigned here by the 
New York State. Oh, they're exchanging words up there. Norton say, let the bell ring. We'll get it on. Ring officials this evening will judges Bonnie Smith and Harold Letterman, your timekeeper. Ali is still coming back. He's throw. following him wherever he goes. For the main event is Arthur Mercanti. Ali's making his toughest face now. <laughs> Ali has on a very long robe tonight, too. Long white robe. Presents tonight's 50 round heavyweight okay. championship bout. Can you give me one more inch? I'm about to a 15 round. From Los Angeles and San Diego, California. You. He weighed 200. Muhammad Ali and a half pounds, just walking around in the ring the trying to upset Ken Norton Ken which he hasn't been able to do yet the judges. And from Louisville, Kentucky, and now the champ is being introduced he weighs 221 pounds the heavyweight champion of the world Muhammad Ali is leading the fans and the chant over on the side, Norton must fall. Ken Norton is going to the opposite side of the ring. Now Ali is... I've never seen a champ. Now here he is right over us, right here at ringside, saying Norton must fall. There's some kind of mass hysteria he's trying to create here. Walking all around the ring, different sides of the ring, getting the fans to join him in that chant, Norton must fall. He pulled much the same thing inside here against George Foreman. He had the crowd yelling, Bumaye, and that meant kill him. Good evening, Muhammad. There they are, standing in the middle of the ring. This contest for the heavyweight championship of the world Referee. will be by the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically... Both guys are ready to get it on. Right here at Yankee Stadium in New York City. Is this all understood? The 16th time. Ali is... the starting bell. Ali is running, trying to get to Norton. Now we're... We're ready. The stage is set here, Dick. This is going to be a fight. He tripped over his own robe as he went yeah. to his corner. This is going to be a fight tonight. Kenny hasn't paid any attention to him, any of his antics, just warming up in his corner, shadow boxing, jumping. Now Seems we're getting ready. Cool. Look at this. Ali is going into that windup. Here we are, round one. Heavyweight championship fight. Yankee Stadium, the champ, Muhammad Ali in the white trunk. Ken Norton, the challenger, in the blue trunks. They're both feeling each other out. Now, this is Brown. Ali lands the right on the head. Ali is talking to Norton. No blows exchanged that time. Ali is standing just like he said he was, flat-footed. Norton reaches over with a left. That was blocked. Ali charges in, stops. Ali is talking to Norton. Norton slipped a left in. But Ali is talking to him as a right by Muhammad Ali. Ali has the right hand ready. He misses, that hit over his head. Ali has changed his style. Ken Norton hasn't changed his style at all. Ken Norton dives under. Ali talking to him. Ali comes in. Not Norton sort of blocks though. Ali is trying very hard to land some right hands. This is what he said he was going to do. But Ali said he was going to knock Norton out by the fifth round and may do it in the first. We got one minute and 28 seconds left. Referee is warning. Well, hit behind the head. Norton blocked that one. Come on, 
minutes are going good. around. Nothing solid really has been landed by either man. Uh, Ali is saying, come on in, come on in. Ali is doing more talking than punching. Yeah. Ali hasn't been able to land the right hand yet. Ali is warned for pulling the back of Norton's hand. Right hand volley, 35 seconds left in the first round. Good left by Ali. Norton stand and still dragging that right foot behind him. 19 seconds left in the first round. Schedule 15 rounder. 10 seconds left. Referee's trying to break the fire. 10 seconds. That's the end of round number one. Dick. Well, Dick, that's the end of the first round here at I Yankee Stadium. I uh, Frank, that uh, Ali had a slight edge in that round because of that good right hand he landed with about a minute to go. There wasn't too much effective punching. That was it. Now look at Ali. Instead of resting, he is leading the crowd again in a chant like a choir master. And that's that's Muhammad Ali's style, walking around with his manager walking around, Angelo behind him. Norton is also standing in this round, so Ali hasn't psyched him out on that, Dick. You see, Ken Norton didn't sit down, Ali didn't sit down. So I guess they're saying, you know, if you can do it, so can I. Frank, we have a distinguished jury of experts here tonight. We have Red Smith of the New York Times, Stan Hockman of the Philadelphia Daily News, and Frank McGee of the London Daily Mirror, and we will be consulting them from time to time to see just how they are judging this fight. Round two, New York City, Yankee Stadium. Muhammad Ali, the heavyweight champion of the world. Ken Norton, the challenge. Norton is coming out, and he's putting a little pressure on Ali this time. Ali's keeping him off with the left jab. Muhammad Ali is talking. Ali is saying, oh, come on in here, come on in here. Ali holds his hands up and tells him to hit the body. Martin lands on right. He didn't have too much power on it. Overhand right, got him on the ear. It wasn't well directed. Not quite accurate. Muhammad Ali can take a punch, though. That's one thing. No matter how hard you hit him, he can stand right up and dish him out, and he can take it. Ken Norton. Constantly bearing in on going to the midsection. Referee breaks him apart. All he covers up with a hard right by Norton. Muhammad Ali doing some kind of dance. Ali goes into his shimmy, making believe that he was staggered by that punch. Referee warns Ali to stop holding. That could be considered a minor foul in the state of New York. Norton's trying to work on the midsection. Ali is blocking those shots. And Norton, constantly keeping the pressure on him. Ali pushes him off. Norton comes into the midsection again with a left. And he's talking back to him now for the first yes. time. And he said, Ali is going to the left and the right combination of the head. Norton bobs and weaves and comes back. Ali comes back with a right and a left. That was blocked. Norton covers up. Nine seconds left here in the second round. Muhammad Ali is talking to North. Muhammad Ali now is backing off. He's retreating. Exchange blows at times with the head by Ali into the body by North. Hard punch to the midsection by Norton. 
Martin goes with the left to the head. And that's the end of round number two. Now they are arguing between rounds. Muhammad Ali said that ain't nothing you're throwing out there. And Ken Norton said, what do you think you're doing? Ali went over and sat on the stool for about two seconds, hot right up. Ken Norton still refuses to sit down on his stool. Dick, Black Twana, what do you think about this? Well, Dick. Twana's lost her mic for a moment. I think we'll try to get her back in the action. All right, let's get these scoring in here right quick. Well, I've just heard from our uh, jury of experts here, and they are unanimous. And by a strange coincidence, I have the same scoring. All men gave Ali the first round. All men gave Norton the second round. So we are even after two rounds, one and one. All right, now we're getting ready for round number three. Muhammad Ali up with his famous windmill. windmill. Ali comes out and he acts as though he's going to come right out and hit Norton. And he does with a left. Norton still dragging his right foot, body turned on an angle to Ali. That was blocked. Ali comes with the left jab, right on the head. Ali lunges in and misses. Hear him? You ain't got nothing. Yeah, this Ali is talking. Ali, Ken Norton. Norton comes around with a long right. That's down, but there's nothing on it. Ali blocked it. Ali's trying to pass right chop. Muhammad Ali, Ken North, exchange left. Ken North, keeping the pressure on him. Muhammad Ali is taking that left and he's just sticking it in. Referee wants him to break. Muhammad Ali is going to cover up now. Norton is going to Good overhand it. right by Norton. Got past that guard. Muhammad Ali is trying to land that right. Ali comes with a combination. The right was blocked, but the left got in. Nobody believes Ali got a right hand, but Richard Dunn. Oh, right by, by, by Norton. Muhammad Ali comes back, but it's blocked. The hard right hand coming over the top. Kenny Norton is coming over the top with Ali. Ali is still saying something to Kenny Norton. Right left combination by Ali. I'm an Ali and Ken Norton. And Norton is exchanging a few words with Ali at the end of the round there. Norton's plan seems to be overhand rights to the head, left hooks to the body. Those I, seem to have been his scores in the early rounds. Yes, yeah, let's, let's look at that overhand right there because I heard his corner holler from coming there with him. You got it. Here we go then. Norton's got him set up. There it is. Well, we have our first disagreement. Our three judges all agree that Ali won that round. I favored Norton in that round. I think those shots to the head, those overhand right hands, earned him the round. Gentlemen, do we have a mic here that we can talk to our experts with? How about this one? 
Now we're getting ready for round Bet number four. You three fellas seem to think that Ali won that round. I thought oh, Norton had a I slide. thought Ali clearly won the first two minutes of it. Norton landed a couple of solid overhand rights late, but I, I couldn't give him the round on those. Thank you, Ed. That was Red Smith of the New York Times. Well, here we're now in round number four. Norton's corner is telling him, get him in the corner, come over with the right. Muhammad Ali lands two left to another right by Ali. Muhammad Ali has a flurry of punches. The right comes in there with Muhammad Ali. Left-right combination by Ali. I think he shook Kenny a little bit with that flurry. Yes, I think so. He caught him in a crouch, landed four very effective punches. There's that right hand coming over time. Muhammad Ali just got out of the way of it just a little bit. It didn't land solid. Ken Norton has come up with this overhand right. Norton jumped off his feet that time to hit it, Muhammad Ali. Ali blocked it. Norton smiled a little bit. Landed that one that time. Muhammad Ali comes back with a right. Ali comes with a combination. Good right left. Hard right, right hand. Ali comes in with that left. Right overhand again by Norton. A little too long. It curled around the back yeah. of his neck. Muhammad Ali saying that ain't hurt me. Kenny's talking back to him now. Yeah, they're talking to each other now. That right yeah, hand land that time. Kenny comes back again. Muhammad Ali is covering up. Ali is not talking to him, but he covered up from that one that time. Not him in the body, though. Yes. <laughs> Referee breaks him apart. <laughs> and that's the end of the round. Muhammad Ali is saying you ain't nothing. Well, it's Ken Norton. Ken Norton has not sat down yet, Dick. That's right. He's out Ali and Ali. Now, this is a strange one. Exactly is. Yes, now let's look at a couple replays here. We're going to look at it from two different angles, Dick. We look at Norton come in with his overhand right. And here's the isolated action. Ali back in the corner. And that's that's the a good right overhand land. right, Frank. That's what one hand not found. Look at this. Now Ali Muhammad can't Ali. For the bell. He's Ali said he was going to do him in in the fifth round. Muhammad Ali said he was going to beat Ken Norton in the fifth round. This is the round that he predicted. This is the round that Ali predicted, Dick. He said he was going to knock Norton out in the fifth round. Ali's out in the center of the ring. Ali wants to mix it up. That's a left by Ali. Martin wants to come up with an uppercut. He's trying. The referee said, I'm telling you for the last time, Ali, I want you to stop that. What he's warning him about is putting the hand in back of the neck. It's called holding and hitting. That is strictly a no-no. Ali is staying on the ropes. He's blocking those legs. Ali is clowning around now. 
Connor Rogue's doing a shimmy. He's in the old rope with dope. Kenny is attacking it at the body. Tries an uppercut, but can't get through that rope with dope. Comes over top with the right. Muhammad Ali. This is the thing that Muhammad Ali gets his corner shook up with. One minute and 41 seconds left in this round. And Ali may fight the last minute of the round. Kenny's looking for an opening in Iropa Dope, can't find it. Now he goes to the rib and the kidney. That's what he's planning to do on the Iropa Dope, attack the rib just above the kidney. Ali is just standing there. There's a good left. Got through the comes through that with a left. Ali is blocking the other shot. Just standing. This is in the last minute of the round. Round number five. Muhammad Ali going through his. This must be his new dance, Dick, that he's doing. That's his shimmy. He's done that before, but never quite as long. He's spending the whole round shimmying. Fans want Ali to come off the rope and fight. Crowd is booing. Our left that got in there Ali. Ali. Ali is lunging with that right hand. Norton says, there's your five. <laughs> well, you got to give Kenny that round because unless you're going to give points for shimmying, which is about all, which is about all that Ali did that round. Yes, uh, Ali does that every once in a while. That's one of the things that, it, that his corner gets so upset with him when they're sitting over there. He's doing just a little bit of the shimmy. There he is. Now, let's look at it. I think Ali may have started that when he left Pinocchio in Tokyo. Our jury gave the round to Norton unanimously. I joined them in that. Stan Hockman of the Philadelphia Daily News gave Norton a two-point round. Stan, tell me why. Well, it's about Ali spending the whole round on the ropes with that indecent shimmy, the kind of thing that uh, he can do without. And uh, I just uh, wanted to penalize him for behaving that way. Here we are, okay, round thank you, six. Stan Hockman. Back at ringside, Yankee Stadium, New York City. Heavyweight championship fight. Muhammad Ali, the champ. Norton, the challenger. Ali is still doing whatever it is that he's doing. He's talking and he's shimmying. All right, step back. Referee breaks him apart again. Ali with his shimmy and his talking. Very little hitting. Norton gets through with a couple left. Ali is saying, I ain't gonna be no running. I ain't gonna do no running. Look at Ali. Looks around. With a hard right to the head by Norton. Ali's fan. Lives him up a little bit. Norton is constantly keeping the pressure on Ali in this fight. Without Ali leading them, the fans are chanting Ali, Ali, hoping, I think, to inspire him to a little action. Now Ali is just holding him off with that long left, just holding it out there. They both have the same reach, 80 inches. Norton is hitting him on the arm now when he does that. Ali comes to the hard right, and he misses. Ali is 
talking during the whole fight. Looked like he wouldn't talk too much. That's how he got his jaw broke by Norton by talking to him. Tim Norton, still coming in. Harley laying back on the rope now. Moving the car. Ken comes in with the rib. One's working on the body now. Ali's in the rope of dope. Norton goes for the body. Harley pushing him out. Shot to the body, doubled Good up shot. Ali. That one hurt Ali. It was a left by Norton. Ali, Norton came right to the big section. Leaves right back at the same place with another left. That round now, Ali, they put the stool out for him, but uh, he's not going to sit down. Ken Norton hasn't sat down yet. He's not even worried about sitting down. That was quite a body attack that time. Those are the kind of punches that take something out of you. You know, when you come out there with those solid punches to the body, you know, they're gonna take something out of you. Let's look at that body punch again that doubled Ali up there. Comes out set. There it is. That was a real good shot. Those things could tell late in the fight. Body punches don't usually have immediate effect. That one did, but for the most part, body punches are a cumulative tactic that is supposed to take effect late in the fight. And again, we have heard from our jury, and again, they are unanimous in giving that round to Norton, so that Norton moves ahead in this fight after six rounds. All right, we're in round number seven now. Yankee Stadium in New York City. Ken Norton, Muhammad Ali. Two great fighters. Norton seems to have a little edge on Ali now. Ali is taking this a little more serious now. At least he stopped talking for the moment. He stopped talking, he's taking this. Hi, break! Norton is constantly keeping the pressure on Ali. where people figure that, that Ali would be the strongest in the sixth or the seventh round. Another Norton. shot right on the belt line. Ali throws that left out there. Another left, another left by Ali. Norton lands a left. Ali comes with another left. Back to the body. Left hand shots to the kidney. Those are gonna hurt. Combination. Good right left. That punch may have fooled a little bit. It didn't land that solid. I'm 
Ali comes back with another left and another left. That's the end of the round. Both fighters refuse to sit down. They're just standing as though nothing is happening. We're getting ready for round number eight, Dick. I gave Ali that round. That's a slight comeback by Ali after Norton had won the previous four or five rounds. And again, the jury does agree, this time giving it to Ali. So that in our jury now, they have Ali one, two, three rounds, Norton four rounds. Hockman has an extra point for Norton. Well, this is round number eight. Live in Yankee Stadium. Top ranked in Madison Square Garden. Puts on another big show. This one, the heavyweight championship. Norton comes out, gets a little careless, and Ali threw a right, right on him. Ali comes back with a left. That come on the show. Look at those body punches. Muhammad Ali is trying to cover up. And now Norton is talking to Muhammad Ali. some of that exchange that we have here. Norton comes in with a right, a left, body. Ali lands combination. There's a hard right by Norton. That was one of the few good shots to the head that Norton got in. Most of his good blows have been to the body. Yes, and Ali landed a and good And again, uh, oh no, uh, Mr. McGee called that round even. 
Frank McGee of the London Daily Mirror called it even. Our other two experts, Red Smith and Stan Hockman, gave it to Norton. Frank, tell us why you called it even. We're getting ready for round nine. Championship fight, heavyweight division. Right, Muhammad thank you, Ali's thank going you. to dancing now. best physical shape to win this fight. Ali said he was not going to dance, and now he is dancing. Ali's going to come out and try that jab. Now, Ken will cut the ring off. When Muhammad Ali fights like this, he needs the entire ring. And Ken is noted for cutting it off. There's the Ali shuffle. He said it the way in, no dancing, no shuffling, no fooling around. I am serious. Ollie can come out and dance and shuffle and throw that left all night. He won't do it very long this time, not at age 34. He's not going to dance all night. In fact, I doubt very much he will dance for three minutes of any time. talking while he's dancing. Norton is forcing Ali to change his style now. That's correct. Ali has not been too effective with his flat-footed and rope-a-dope style, so he's going to try something just a little bit different. Ali comes with a left-right combination. Norton bends under that. Ali comes back with another look. Ali moves and he can stick with that punch right left. Every time the crowd reacts to something Ali does, wakes him right up. You might ask if Ali is effective this way, why he doesn't do it more often. The answer is that at age 34, he cannot sustain this kind of attack. Yeah, Ali can't do this uh, more than three or four rounds. Dick. That's a hard oh, right by Kenny. We got Ali in the corner. Ali is holding on. I am pushing him out. Kenny Norton is has, sneering at him now. Norton has a very confident look on his face. Land two left and right. The end of the bell. This fight is really getting to be something here now. You see Norton strut to his corner? Oh, yeah. As though he hasn't done any, any work out there. You know. Now we're going to show you Norton's right hand right on Ali's chin. That was the left. He comes back. There's the right. That was the best punch of the round, but probably the only punch, really, the effective punch that Kenny got in. Ali, meanwhile, was doing quite a bit of effective jabbing. Therefore, I think Ali won that round, at least on my card. The other two gentlemen disagree. The other three gentlemen disagree with me. Red Smith gave the round to Norton, and Stan Hockman and Frank McGee called the round even. Well, how do we have this now? What, what's the total? Without scoring, which is unofficial, of course. Here we are now. Round 10. Round 10. Muhammad Ali is moving. <laughs> and now we got Ken Norton still going to. Muhammad Ali needs a whole ring when he dan dances around like this in order to fight. But Norton was able to cut it off. Ali is now leading the chance for the people in dancing. He's moving. 20 foot ring. Muhammad Ali will dance all 20. He'll use every foot in it, every inch in it. 
Norton wants to cut it off. Ali comes over the top and the left and misses. Now here's an amazing thing, Frank. Here's the heavyweight championship fight. Ali is trailing slightly, I believe, at least on my card and those of our jury. And yet he takes time out while the crowd is chanting to raise his right hand and pump it up and down like Leonard Bernstein leading them in the music. Well, that's Muhammad Ali for you, Dick. Uh, you know, there's a saying, Ali is not afraid of anything. And they say that knowledge eliminates fear. And I, Ali has the knowledge of this business here. He knows this game of boxing, and he knows every inch. Of he knows showbiz, too, and that's yeah. what that is. <laughs> and he's just not afraid. Some hard punches to the body. Ali fights back. Referee looks like he's getting a little stronger himself. Muhammad Ali comes in with a hard left. Good hook. Good hook by Ali. Corner keeps saying, Break the rhythm up. That's Bill Slayton. Norton's handler saying, Break up the rhythm. That means jab. Jab, break up his rhythm with a jab. Norton misses nice, that time. That one glazed off of Ali's face just a little bit. No damage. shots right there at the bell. In fact, one of them landed immediately after the bell. It was on its way before the bell and landed afterward. Twana, what, how do you see the fight going now, Twana? Frank, it's hard to say. Ken Norton looks some kind of good. I'd swear. I saw the first two fights, and he's the only man that Ali hasn't beaten and hasn't proved that he can beat. He's going to have a hard time tonight. This is one hell of a fight. All right, that's Miss Black America, Twana Kilgore. She's become quite an expert in a hurry, hasn't she? I'm telling She's you. She's a great fan. She dug right into this uh, boxing business, and she is a real student of the game now. The jury split on that one. Red Smith gave the 10th round to Ali. McGee gave it to Ali. Hockman gave it to Norton. And I gave it to Ali. We're the section now. As a left land by Norton. Ali comes back with a left. Ali comes with that left. He's not moving this round. He's standing up. Ali. And now he's tapping his hands for Ali. Now he's coming up. How did Ali get a taste of his own medicine? Martin is showing lots of superb courage here. Kenny Norton telling him, come on, let's fight. Norton said, come on, let's fight. I'm Ali coming with a combination. Ali has done nothing to hurt Ken Norton so far. Norton misses that time. Ali moves out of the way. He comes right back with two. Ali misses. K 
Ken Norton is talking to Ali. Keeping him off with the left jab. Ali is Goodbye, on the hard Andy. right. Another right, another left by Ali. Ken Norton is standing there taking those punches. Taking all these punches. Comes back with a nice jab. You know, when the title fight is on the line like this, you wonder what's going through the opponent's mind, the champion's mind, but you don't have to wonder what's going through the challenger's mind. That title is on his mind. He comes back with a right. Now Norton hollers at him. He got a little scuffle after the bell that time. Yes. Yeah, this fight here is going to be something. Muhammad Ali looks like he's getting a little tired, a little worried. He doesn't know what to do here at this point. I don't think they're friends. I know. I can see they're not friends at all because... Tim Norton did, has not used his stool yet. Let's look at Ali's right hand. A good shot. There's there a right is. lead right there. Turned away just in time. Or else that would have knocked him down. Muhammad Ali hasn't been able to use his right hand or do what he wanted to do. Ken Norton has taken everything that uh, Ali is dishing out. And laughing and talking about it. And our four-man jury, three three-man jury, and myself all gave the eleventh round to Ali. Muhammad Ali, Ken North, championship fight, Yankee Stadium. Ali is bewildered at this time. He's wondering what should he do and what can he do to Ken North. Ken 
Hunter has got the pressure. We're going to have to look at this eye to see just what happened there. Something, something happened yeah, let's, there. Let's take a look his at how he grabbed his as, eye. His reaction was as though he caught a thumb. I didn't see a thumb. It looked like he caught a punch. Here it is now. Both fighters still standing up, we moving right along in the fight. If you look at Norton's eye here, and it looks like Muhammad Ali stuck his thumb in uh, Ken Norton's eye to that's, me. That's the way he reacted anyway. Norton is telling her about it now. are completely divided on that round. Red Smith has it for Norton, Hockman has it for Ali, and Frank McGee calls it even. That's Frank McGee of the London Daily Mirror, one of our experts from overseas. Norton's eye has a little swelling in it there, his right eye. It is puffed up from that either that thumb or whatever that made him grab it at the end of round 12. Well, there's landing and punches there. Now Ali's fighting off the roof. Muhammad Ali has so many things that he can do and do so well from the inside and off the ropes. Ken Norton has shown that he can take whatever he dishes out. It is characteristic of Norton that he does not clinch and he does not step back. Waiting now. Ali throws a hard left that time. None of those blows landed. None of those landed. Norton is saying something to Ali. Now, Norton is going at Ali. This is a fight here, Dick. They're slugging it out now. Norton's trying to bring him from left field now. That fight was from way back. Ali, his trainer brings the stool up. Let's look at that again from Ice angle here with these shots. This exchange. This is some exchange for two heavyweights. There's a right by Norton. There's a right by Ali. That one's blocked. Two real heavyweights. And neither one takes the time to sit down. Well, if I'm, uh, I have Norton out in front eight to five. 
after 13 rounds. I'm waiting to hear from our experts on the 13th round. For 12 rounds, Red Smith has Norton out in front. Well, this is round 14. We're gonna know something here very soon. Whoever's in the best shape now. And Smith gave that one to Norton. So he has him out in front, eight to five, same as I do. Ali tried for the killing punch that time. Norton's come with those body punches. Ali comes right back with the jab. Sat down yet? Stood up the whole fight. That's right. It's like he's having a cheerleading session over in this corner now. And Ali's corner is very quiet. They're crying. <laughs> like they uh, let's have a word with Red Smith here. Red, you gave that round to Norton, and you have Norton, if I calculate correctly, you have Norton out in front, nine to five. A good lead. I can only score him one round we are. at a time, Dick, and it comes out that way. That's right, and I have him out in front, not quite that much. I have him out in front, eight and six. Ali comes out dancing in the 15th and final round. Norton is still talking. Crowd here at Yankee Stadium. I think this could be the winning round. Whoever wins this round could win the fight here tonight, just like the second Ali Norton fight three years ago. Not a fan of 
cheering for Ali. Lord is talking to Ali. Shots, he didn't land too hard. It was a pretty good right left right combination. Ali <laughs> comes back to the left. One minute and 20 seconds left in the 15th and final round of this championship fight at Yankee Stadium. Lunges in. Norton may be getting a little too anxious. Why is Norton just saying I haven't finished with you yet? Less than a minute in the 15th round. And the fight is just about even. Ollie is jabbing, he's dancing, and he's moving. in here, Dick. And I'm going to try to get up here in the ring now with Warren and see just what's going to happen. Gentlemen, let me have your tallies. Talk to Warren. <laughs> We're going to show you this flurry by Norton at the end. He didn't want Ali to steal the fight with a late bit of action as Ali did the second Norton fight. Here he has him in the corner. He's all over him. Red Smith gives that round to Norton. So does Stan Hockman. And McGee calls it even. So we have Red Smith calls it for Norton. 10 to 5, a decisive margin for Norton. Stan Hockman gives it to Norton. 8 to 6 with one even. Frank McGee gives it to Norton. Six to five and four even. And I give it to Norton, nine and six. So we are all agreed, gentlemen, that Norton is the winner. Oh, I'm sorry, I miscalculated McGee. He has it even, he has it a draw, six, six, and three. The other three, Red Smith, Stan Hockman, uh, and myself give it to Norton. So now we will await the official verdict. There's an awful big crowd in this ring. Right here at Yankee Stadium, and right after 15 rounds of heavyweight championship fight with Muhammad Ali and Ken Norton, we're waiting on a decision. And I think Norton's corner thinks that he's won the fight, and Muhammad Ali's corner is mighty quiet, and they're wondering just what is going on here. But we'll have a decision here pretty soon. This is a very close fight. We're Judge Bobby Smith scores the fight. Eight rounds, Ali. Seven, Norton. Eight rounds, Ali. Seven rounds, Norton. Judge Harold Letterman 
Scores the fight. Eight rounds, Ali. Seven rounds. Eight rounds, Ali. And it's a very close fight. This was a... Scores the fight. Eight rounds, Ali. Six rounds, one. And now Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is the winner. And still the heavyweight champion. And now all of the noise is broken out here. The crowd is booing the fight, the decision. All the noise is broken out here. Ali is on the other side. We're waiting. We're gonna try to get Muhammad Ali over here. Muhammad Ali looks like he's going to leave. I think Kenny Norton is crying. It looks to me like he's crying. He must have thought he won the fight. Like a whole lot of commotion is he going is on here. tremendously dejected. He's holding his head. He's in tears. He thought he won the fight. Quite well, a few let's people here. here. Talk to, uh, Quite a few people thought he won the fight. I've never Good seen man. a man Good weep man. in the ring that way. He doesn't want to talk. He's just now leaving looks the like ring. Kenny is leaving. Kenny does not want to talk. He is all broken up with the verdict. Well, I guess Muhammad Ali is not going to have an interview after the fight. Neither man is going to talk after the fight. Ali might feel just a little bit self-conscious about that verdict. He's leaving. Kenny Norton has already left. All right, well, Muhammad Ali is not coming over for an interview after the fight from the ringside. So we're going to close out here from Yankee Stadium. This is Frank Bannister for Dick Young, Twana Kilgore for the heavyweight championship fight in New York. Everybody get home safely. Good night. This is the scene in the ring at Yankee Stadium, New York. This is the scene at the end of what I can only describe as a shameful night for boxing here in Yankee Stadium, New York. How can a man like Ken Norton do so much, fight so well, outbox his man, do most of the work for most of the time, and then have to leave the ring being declared a loser? I know all three officials made Ali a narrow winner. I cannot agree with that. And I don't think the many thousands of people here in Yankee Stadium can possibly agree with that. I will not hesitate in saying that I find it absolutely shameful. And Muhammad Ali tonight does not really deserve still to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Only one man deserves that. And his name is Ken Norton. And I feel sorry for him. And now good night from Yankee Stadium in New York City.
sort of run out of them, I would think, at this point, although some faraway promoter is probably damning us with faint praise for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, uh, the uh, older brother of Angie, told me this morning that Angie's phone is ringing morning, evening, and night with guys from Patagonia down, up, and under, all with challengers, all who want a piece of Muhammad Ali's action. Not that they think they can beat him, but they know that this man is magic and he will draw. Well, there isn't any question about that, and as he himself says, he is the champion of all the world, when and the... Uh, uh, he fights in places that other uh, champions wouldn't even consider years ago. I'd like to uh, repeat for those who may have uh, uh, tuned in late, the knockout was 147 of the seventh round. It's been a pleasure for RKO General and Madison Square Garden Sports Presentations to bring you this World Heavyweight Championship fight. This is Don Dunphy and Wynn Elliott wishing you good night.